Hello, Mr. Walker. It's good to be here. We are the holler. I am Blue Jay from the great north woods, and I'm bleeding for the earth. My papa gave heart, my mama gave love to raise this fighting bird. And in my time of tuning in, I put my ear out on the wind. I heard the people cry and the river sigh, a threat of dams again. So I flew across the mountain so rocky and dry To the front of the range where the river side is Such beautiful fields, I don't know why They pave so much on the grassy side Well I ruffled blue feathers and flew up the street To a sight that burned my eyes A concrete wall 500 feet tall That robbed that river's life Circling round that scar, I found a way to take her down Where the river smoked soft through a fractured rock Just feet above the ground So I held my breath and I made a vow That I'd get rid of that dam somehow In the moonlight, singing songs with my friends Swallows and the canyon rain Well, I blue chase sing a freedom song And I fly from the great northwest And I won't do time in the picket line When my mama's in distress I'll glide into battle with a monkey wrench And sail right into the mouth Of a beast so big and scare most birds To keep on flying south For the heart of my mama, for the canyon's pride For the love of my papa, blue feathers glide on a moon night with a booming quake the shadows grow on a vanishing lake on a full moon night with a booming quake let the shadows grow Brian here with Hyphy Tech, just hanging out with the guys from the Holler, getting ready for their show at the Mishawaka, and uh, just kind of going to have a little discussion. So first off, the thing I wanted to find out about was, I just saw Michael at the Peer Awards. You guys won an award for, you know, what, Bluegrass Country Americana. I mean, that kind of sums up a lot of things there. And listening to you guys practice, I felt like I heard a lot of that in there. How do you guys feel like that represents you? You know, we, we definitely play... A, a grassy kind of feel and often get associated with bluegrass but uh, we, we kind of shy away from that bluegrass um, right. genre if you will because I, I feel like we're a little bit more rocky than we are grassy totally and mm -hmm. uh, you know that's um, it's like Ireland there's more rocks it's, it's just a challenge <laughs> to, to associate yourself with a genre yeah. and I, I think we like to avoid that you know, we're acoustic music, right? So that's that's kind of the the base of it all. What do you what do you think about that? I mean, uh, yeah, the award was for uh, bluegrass, country, and Americana, and um, uh, I don't think we try to avoid any of those genres per se. But we're not really trying to be in any of those. Like Brian said, we're an acoustic band, and. Um, I think that the fact that all of those categories were lumped together in that award says something about those genres and how wide they are. Yeah. How diverse those genres can be. Mm -hmm. I agree with, with what you guys said, but... Uh, good. Um, along with that, yeah, good. I'm turning the light. Good. Uh, 
I think the the biggest thing was it's an honor, especially in this region. Those you know those genres put together that that's a, a lot of bands playing that kind of music, and to be distinguished in with a group that large and with that genre, it's that I, I feel honored. Especially um, in this town, for sure. Yeah, in this town and in this region. Yeah, that's that's what's that's the what I feel like is you know where things are at, or where things are going, and yeah, I'm proud to be part of it. So, or, and this is year two. Yeah. Yeah, this is our second year. That's right. Last year it was just bluegrass, right? It that was that just the folklore yes, yes, went was to the holler bluegrass. for just bluegrass. So this year the fact that it, you know, was a much bigger field of our peers was very humbling. Definitely yes. very humbling. Yes. We felt pretty good about it. Um I like a lot of the bands that didn't win the award that are in our genre. I like those too and, and yeah. to be you know, I mean, wow. Wow, you know, we won that? Cool. I know, I know. <laughs> so it was a big honor, but it was also a little bit shocking, you know, with that big of a field, we didn't really, I don't know, I didn't expect it. Did you guys expect it? <sighs> yes. I, it kind, I think I think we might have, but it's also it's also intimidating. It's, it's a huge shoes to fill right? for this town. Like Brad said, there's so many bands in that category. And um, the previous winners had won three years in a row, I believe. Right. Yeah. The, the previous winners, uh, Head for the Hills. Head for the Hills, one of my favorite. Local yeah, bands. they're one, one of my one favorite Four Corners bands. And um, they don't play at Foco MX because they're, <laughs> they're too big. Right. <laughs> Someday maybe we'll get them to play Foco MX. This next song is called Beyond the Mirror, and it's one that I co wrote with someone who's out in the audience, Star Hill. Thanks for coming tonight, and thanks for the inspiration for this song. There you are. <laughs> yeah. Beyond the Mirror.
rock we will lie and watch the clouds melt in the sky an hour or nine passes by the mirror is left behind yeah. a sacred spring pushes water of life that'll keep us from going dry so we'll follow it down this green mountain side and leave our mirror behind oh we'll follow it down this green mountain side and leave our mirror behind oh we'll follow it down That's, uh, that's Garrett Evans on the drums back here, you guys. Hey, how you doing? We're the Holler. Check us out on hyphy.net. All the local music from Fort Hyphy Hyphy Tech. Yeah, you'll like Dot it. .net. I'll, I'll, say the, I'll say check us out and other Northern Colorado bands. Okay. Hey, we're the Holler. Check us out. <laughs> uh, Hi, we're the Holler. Check, check, us, out. check us out. And check other out. great and other Fort great Collins bands, bands on HyphyTech. Hey there, we're the Holler. Check us out on HyphyTech.net with some other great Northern Colorado. Hi, we're the Holler. Check us out on HyphyTech.net along with some other great Northern Colorado bands. Can I get a holler? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Do one. <laughs> Being the new guy here, how does it feel to win an award and like all the stuff you guys are doing, the music, seeing you guys practice downstairs? Like, is it, is it was it pretty easy to melt right into this group? Uh, easy is not quite the word. It wasn't hard because you know we're all professional musicians, and I think definitely this outfit reflects more professionalism than any outfit I've ever been in before. Um, you know, and I'm the old guy in the crew, so I've been playing for a little while. You know, I don't know if I've been playing as long, but I've been definitely been around it. So I've been in a lot of different outfits that went to a certain spot and then couldn't go any further. And and the holler really offers an opportunity to push the boundaries of what I've been able to do, um, both musically for myself as well as collaboratively with an ensemble. And and I couldn't be happier with the holler, but. It's funny, I, I don't normally gravitate towards this type of music. Um, and so when I joined, Brad actually had to give me a lesson on, <laughs> on what, you know, if we were, we were doing a traditional, like a bluegrass song or something that had that flavor. Beat. Yeah, how to, where that beat was. Because um, I had spent so much time playing funk, which is always behind the beat, you know, laid back and kind right. of all in the pocket. Up, in the pocket. <laughs> and the pocket was totally different in bluegrass. So it was really nice to be able to have these guys say, hey, this is great what you're doing. We love what you're doing, but do it like this. Right. And it's nice to get that kind of encouragement and direction from, from professionals. And so that's been the, the biggest pleasing thing about joining the holler for me, for sure. Nice and Brad, how about you, man? Like, I know you guys have gone through a few drummers. I know the hollers come from Wildwoods, come from Handpicks, come from all these things. But in, in your, I want to say, version so far, how do you feel with, like, going through the drummers and everything and how you guys have kind of come together to what you are now? Um, well, I mean, even starting from the beginning, I was a fan of the band before I was in the band. Uh, I had heard... Uh, I was I had heard uh, handpicked holler so I, and that got me into Wildwood holler but you know with tube on bass and all that and uh, you know I came from Denver up to Fort Collins to come see that band and then I moved here and got lucky enough to play so that was the first part and then the second part uh, playing with all the drummers um, uh, they're musicians not drummers to me you know we're all playing music we're <laughs> That's all nice of you. yeah we're all playing music regardless of the instrument in our hands so 
and and that's beautiful and and the just different interpretations i like to hear what different people have to say um with their instrument with you know musically and uh, i love josh vogler i like uh, his songwriting and his feel and his approach amazing songwriter and i've been friend playing with him for years and then uh playing with chris smith he was amazing uh heavy drum fills as opposed to more cymbal fills and uh and coming from a different approach too and and that broadened my horizons and broadened the horizons of the songs i think to hear how the song could be this way and this way and then uh and then garrett i mean first time i heard you play drums which maybe was even a year ago unfortunately it, it was only a year ago that i first heard you man <laughs> Like I, yeah, that was with bourbon. Toothpaste. Yeah, with bourbon toothpaste, and uh, and I was, wow, you know that's something else. And then yeah, playing with you has just been amazing, and professionalism, and and uh, with all love and respect to the other drummers, uh, I love playing with Garrett, and and I love with what you're doing too. So that's been my experience, and it's a little different for a bass player to go through drummers. You know, we're we're the rhythm section. We're, yeah, we got our little secret club. We're the dark side. Yeah, sometimes they don't even know what we're doing. And yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, it's it's been interesting and fun and an adventure, and uh, I'm, I feel like I'm better for it. The band's better for it. Yes, that's All awesome. Yeah. And then maybe come over to Michael real quick. I mean, is it? I don't know how to how to. This is a hard question always to ask when it comes to the construction of songs and stuff, you know, and I know this band, you've been in every, you know, version of this band. Are you kind of like the go-to guy for lyrics or has it come to be always a group thing? You bring something in, everybody else brings something in or how do you guys kind of say that works? At this point, we all bring lyrics in separately. There's a little collabor collaboration on the music uh, in a live experience, but for the most part, we all bring in separate songs and go from there. And uh, that's actually one thing I would like to see change in this band. I would like to, to collaborate more on lyrics and music with you guys. And, and it's a challenge, but it's, it, for the past eight months, like Brad was saying, um, we, you know, we've had a, a lot of different percussionists. Josh Vogler was a great songwriter and an excellent uh, bluegrass style, floaty, jammy drummer. Chris Smith was very powerful, and he introduced an element um, to, to the band that was more rock, uh, which really pulled on my heartstrings. I like that powerful music. Um, and Garrett seems to be, uh, I mean, we're very fortunate to have him. Um, he's like in between those two styles uh, in a way that, um, uh, well, I think I think Brad. Let's go back to Brad here. Brad has had the hardest role out of the three of us over the past eight months or so with all these changes, because the groove of these songs have changed three times in the past eight months, and he's the one that has had to drop some sort of consistency. and And through these changes, we've played a lot of different venues, and we've gotten new fans, and they've gotten to know us, and we've been able to maintain that momentum. Uh, through personnel changes, and I would credit a lot of that ability to Brad, the bass player, for being able to jive with three different guys over eight months. And make it work. Yeah, and make it work. Yeah, you know, the, they the songs have remained the same, but the grooves have changed. You know, quite a bit. That's incredible. Then, what do you guys feel like it's kind of heading? Then, are you guys you guys feel like a whole new direction for the band kind of coming out of this? Then, and you're kind of heading into something. I feel our direction is more open right now because Garrett is such a dynamic drummer. Um, the the volume levels, um, what he, his ability to play with brushes, blast sticks, or sticks, based on the the feel of the song, and um, I really. I really trust Garrett's experience, um, and uh, I, uh, hey, I'm i drawing a blank here. I had this great thought going. Well, Hang on. You want this microphone? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, it, the songwriting is, is what makes my job really easy. I mean, if I have songs that I can play to, that I can accompany yes. to, you know, because uh -huh. 
oftentimes the difference between a drummer and a musician, a drummer is just back there, you know, laying down two and four and he isn't listening to the parts of the song. But then that's what the holler has really been able to do for me is let me see the arrangement and put myself into that arrangement and be part of the song. And so Garrett the songwriting is a big the, deal. Yeah. Yeah. Get what he, yes. Garrett plays to the song very well. And that's why I trust him. Right. Um, a lot of what this band does is motivated by a vocal melody or um, or uh, certain lyrics, and those lyrics might dictate what the mandolin part does or what the bass part does or what the drum uh, drum part does um, or where the guitar fills are. And um, it's all for that song. Um, and uh, at the same time, He's come in and he's introduced this uh, a different element to the groove to where uh, before I felt like I, ha I was responsible for a lot of the rhythmic intricacies of the band on the mandolin and a lot of the rhythmic direction. Mm -hmm. um, and lately what I've been noticing is I can just drop the mandolin and just lay back on this groove that Brad and Garrett can create. Uh, and just really chew on that melody, get those words out, and really communicate to the audience what we're trying to say as a band with this music. Right. So, it's easier for everybody. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Well, like, well, Brian, I have a question for you, man. Just thinking about the whole drummer aspect, being a man from Minnesota, knowing you know a banjo guy from Trampled by Turtles and stuff. Right. How do you feel about being in a band that's, you know, your acoustic guy, you know, you talked about how this is an acoustic band, having a drummer i mean a lot of times you don't even see that you know and so i mean well to be honest my uh, my upbringing is the blues okay. and electric guitar nice. so okay. it's been kind of a, a different thing for me to play acoustic guitar primarily okay. and there was a point where we brought electric gear along so we could kind of go back and forth between acoustic electric but my heart is in the blues and i feel like i i bring something different than your average bluegrass picker yeah, or or a, a, acoustic awesome. guitar, um, but but I feel like my my electric playing definitely comes through in my acoustic playing. Um, having a drummer, like like Michael said, it, it frees us up mm -hmm. to kind of rely on that groove and just uh, be comfortable in that groove and just know it's always going to be there. And it just uh, it frees us up to do a lot more and to be comfortable in that space. Which is going to help you guys' music evolve even more, right? I mean, you have someone so dynamic and not on one end of the spectrum or the other like the past to kind of, I mean, you guys are only going to grow from here, I guess, is how I'd see it. I mean, if that's a good way to put it or not. Yeah, we, we make songs. We don't just make music. We make songs that have stories, that have, you know, a linear development. And it's all because, you know, we're listening to each other, right. in my opinion. I mean, listening is huge along those lines i feel like with things going the way they are our direction our direction will be uh rock up on the mic here rock. our direction's uh gonna be determined by the music right. and with everything in its place the instruments functioning well the musicians functioning well we will be better able to listen to the song and have the song tell us what to play and that's and that's when you're doing it right. right. You know that that's when that's what we're chasing. That's what I'm chasing. Yeah. No, I, and and so so we can hear better. We can listen better. Mm -hmm. If all these other little technical things taken care of, and maybe we'll be more attentive to what the song tells us to play, and that our direction will be given to us. That's a point I love too, because I feel like a lot of bands in Fort Collins, seven times out of ten, are that kind of band where they let the music dictate who they are rather than trying to be something and create music. Absolutely. Which is, yeah. it's, it's, a, them, it's a big difference. Look out, mama, there's a white boat coming up the river. It's got a big red beacon and a flag and a man on the rail. I guess you better call John, cause it don't look like they're here to deliver the mail. And they're less than a mile away. I hope they didn't come to stay. They got numbers on a flag, they got a gun, and they're making big waves. 
Daddy's gone, my brother's out hunting in the mountains. Your brother John's been drinking since the river took him loose. And the powers that be left me here to do all the thinking. Oh Lord, and I just turned 22. I was wondering what to do The closer they got The more my feelings they grew He told me red means run, son. Numbers add up to nothing. But when that first shot hit the dock, I saw it coming. Oh Lord, I raised that rifle to my eye. I never stopped to wonder why. And I saw black and my face flashed in the sky. Remember me to my love I'm gonna miss her 